do is try to draw this out. Um, and see, could this be chiral? Really, I said, is it chiral? Really, could it be chiral? Uh, if so, draw the enantiomer. So, draw the enantiomer of the original one that you drew out. That is the mirror image of it. Uh, and that's what we're going to try to figure out. Some of these will be chiral, some will not. Uh, so, let's try this first one here. We've got, I'll, I'll draw it out first and I'll say a little bit about it. We've got platinum with four fluorines on it. It doesn't specify if it's tetrahedral or square planar. So it could look like this. Square planar. And know how to draw these shapes. Or it could look like this, tetrahedral. We don't know. And if you forgot your shapes a little bit, uh, whenever I draw a triangle, that means it's coming out towards you, coming out into the classroom. Whenever you see a dash, that means it's going away from you, into the board, or into the screen. And a straight line, or a line, uh, that means that uh, it's flat in the, in the screen. All right, are either of these going to be chiral? No, that's not possible for a number of reasons. One is the square planar, well, first of all, if you draw the mirror image, it's going to be identical. So, and no matter how you rotate it. Second of all, if you get familiar with the table, square planar is not going to be chiral. Tetrahedral can be chiral, but all four of the ligands would have to be different. So you can't have four chlorines here that are all identical. You'd have to have all four ligands different, and then it could be, uh, then it would be chiral. So this one, no. Let's try the next one. We got a titanium with a chlorine, a bromine, and iodine. So the tetrachloroplatinum uh, two ion is not. Let's try this one. This would be uh, bromochloroiodo titanium three. Well, this would be. Uh, has three ligands, so it has to be this shape here. You can draw the mirror image. But if you just flop it like a pancake, like this, you'll see they're identical. And that's going to be true for trigonal planar. Trigonal planar is not going to have chirality. And just flopping it like a pancake will show you that. Uh, you'd have to figure out how you're going to flip something in particular. This one, you'd have to flip it 180 uh, on its other side to see that they are identical. So a uh, second loser, the second one is not chiral either. Let's try this third one. This is a, uh, oh my goodness, a mean tetracarbonyl, hydroxo, iron, one. Yes. Yep. Okay. So let's try this one. There's a number of ways I could draw this molecule, actually. Uh, let's try it here. Uh, I could put the COs all like this.
see what this, this has two possible shapes. You could draw it like this. You could draw it like that. Oh wait, I missed, oh. mm -hmm. One's an eye dot, there we go. Draw it like that. However, the mirror image, you just could flop it over and be identical. Uh, it could also be tetrahedral. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to use another uh, overhead to draw the tetrahedral one. There's the tetrahedral one. This one's a little harder to tell. You can draw the mirror plane. Mirror. Draw the mirror image. There's the mirror image. Those two, uh, that's yes, first one, this is going to be chiral. There's no way you could spin that thing around uh, to make it not be chiral. Let me uh, turn off the lights and uh, show you an example of this uh, so you can kind of visualize it for yourself. Uh, let me see if I have, yes, here we go. Nope. I need to find two tetrahedrals. And uh, I can draw this one out for you. Okay, I think I got this all settled. What I did is I made a tetrahedral with all four groups being different. There's that. There's a blue, a green, a red, and a white a ligand. And uh, here's the mirror image. So green's on the top. Red's here. Blue's here. And uh, white one's on the top. OK, and they're mirror images of each other. You say, well, what if I rotate it around? Nope, the greens and the reds are not going to match up. Uh, what if I like match up the greens and the reds? Well, if I do that, the greens and the reds are now matched up, but the blue and the white uh, are not matched up. There's no way you're going to spin this around to get them all to match. And I apologize for those of you who are colorblind. Uh, ask your friend, I guess. Uh, or trust me, trust me, they're not chiral. Okay, that's easier. 